Hello everybody and welcome back to building tutorials and today I am going to be testing out the Minecraft factory and I'm also going to be starting a brand new build. So last episode I worked on building these tracks over here and connecting them up over here which these rails right here aren't really needed so let me just go ahead and break these away. I did some work off camera and I connected up all the tracks and it should be working. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a big test. James is very excited. He's excited to see if his factory works. Well, let's go see James real quick. I don't know why there's a, a wandering trader in here. But uh, here's James. I just saw him. Here he is. Here's James. He's really excited because today is going to be the first test of the Minecraft factory. to see if we can produce... Uh, some barrels now over here we do have our wandering trader which I don't know if he has anything good not really but we're gonna use this guy as an example uh, this guy right here wants 20 barrels for uh, the village or something and he wants to take 20 barrels back with him to his village so we need to produce 20 barrels for this guy so let's head over all the way over here to this spot right here which this is going to be kind of like the place that supplies all the goods so let's go over to the house because i think that's where the chest is that kind of like has all the items so we'll just say that this house right here has a bunch of extra wood and then you just send it over to the factory you know let me turn this into a double chest all right there we go so i got 20 planks here so i'm gonna go ahead and put those in the chest and now they should be uh, going into here, which then we'll put him in, into the truck and then the truck will deliver it over to the factory So let's see. Okay, here it comes. Hey, right, our 20 oak planks are going in and there they are I put this button right here to activate it So let's go and push the button and that'll send the truck off the truck. Oh, right There's a horse on the track horse get out of the road. There's a truck coming Okay, apparently we just went right through the horse. That's fine. So we've got our truck here and it should go down here where the switch track is and it's either going to go on this track here or it's going to go on the other track There it is and it stops right here So now whoever's working the door inside can come over here and open up the door There we go. Here's our delivery. So let's go ahead and grab up. Oh I, I just realized I still have the stack of wood in my inventory. That's fine I'll just have to split it into 20 again all right, so I've got the 20 wood planks now. So let's go ahead and put those in the chest and it should start coming out here. There we go. Okay, so the wood is coming out and all the pistons here are smashing the wood and it's going to turn into some barrels uh, when it gets over here to the end. So here's our first barrel. There we go. We got one barrel. We got two barrels. We got three barrels. And now all those barrels should go into here. It's very noisy right now because all the machines are working, but they should go into here into this truck. Look at that. We've got three barrels. We got four barrels now and we should get 20 of them. James is very excited that everything is working here. It's really cool watching all the items just kind of like go through the assembly line here. And here are our last few barrels. Uh, I think is this the last one? I think that's our last barrel. Oh wait, no, there's one more. Hey, right, that's our last barrel. There we go. Okay, so they should all be in the truck. There should be 20 barrels. Uh, okay, there we go. They're coming in. There it is. 20 barrels. So let's go ahead and close this up. Push this button over here. And that should go off. You know, I kind of need this door open. But there goes the truck. Oh, right. We got to chase it down. Uh, so the truck is coming in. And it's going to unload its 20 barrels into this chest. Oh, uh, apparently there's some creeper heads in here. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of those. Uh, so this truck should head back if it doesn't get stuck. I might need to put a power rail there. Okay, it just barely makes it. But that should get sent back all the way over there. And there should be some barrels in here. But I think because this is not working correctly. I still have to fix this so it's not on like a redstone clock. I need to get one that actually works better. But as you can see... Wait, why are we getting more creeper heads? There's not supposed to be creeper heads. Why are there creeper heads in here? I think we've got the the system must be jammed with creeper heads right now. Oh, great. Uh, but we do have some barrels coming in. There should be 20 barrels. If I check that truck that went back, 
it should hopefully be empty. As soon as this thing goes through, we should have 20 barrels. Oh, there we go. 20 barrels. There's still creeper heads coming through, which I think that's the last one. There we go. 20 barrels. Now let's take these 20 barrels and uh, take them over to where the wandering trader is. Here you go. I got you your barrels. Uh, where's he at? Here he is. Perfect. Let's just go ahead and throw all the barrels over to this guy. There's your 20 barrels. You can now uh, take that home with you and do whatever you want with it. Perfect. So where's James at? Oh, right. Where is James? No, did he leave? Oh, right. This is bad. James, what are you doing out here? You got to get back in the factory. You're part of our next build. Yeah, let's get, uh, let's get all the doors closed. There we go. Hey, so James, uh, guess what uh, the next build is going to be? No, it's it's not a giant creeper head. No, we're not building that. We're building you an office. We're going to build you an office here for the Minecraft factory. Now, my idea for the office was to put like a window, like maybe either on this wall or that wall. So that way you can kind of look over the entire factory here. I think it would be best to put the window here. So if I go ahead and break out like that uh, much right there, that should be good enough. I actually might make it one lower. So I'm going to go ahead and build this one lower. And I need to get some glass. But this way, if uh, James's office is right here, he can look into the entire building here and he can see all the stuff that's happening. He can see all the blocks that are going through, all the barrels that we're producing, and maybe we'll change up what we make here. Uh, we might make something different than barrels, but at the moment, we're building barrels. Uh, so let's get started with building the office. So it's not going to be built out of, what is this, light gray terracotta. Not going to build it out of that. We're going to build it out of something a little bit different. The first thing I want to get is the glass, because that's going to go right here. So glass is going to go right there. There we go. So this is his window, and this is going to be the floor. Now I also need to build an entrance, which is going to be, I think, right here. Or maybe I'll move it here. I think this might be a better spot. So I'm going to put a door here, and then there's going to be a hallway that leads up this way. So we're going to have a hallway that goes here, and then I'm going to get some stairs that will lead into his office. But I need to get some wood, because we're going to build this out of wood for the floor. Now let's get... James, we're not done yet. No, I need you to go back inside. We're not done with your office. Don't worry. We'll, we'll get you in your office soon. By the end of the episode, you'll have your very own office. So yeah, just go back in there and uh, we'll just block this up real quick. Just so uh, James doesn't run out again. You know, let me just put in the door now. Let's get... Oh, I, I should do a birch door. I think should be fine. Uh, that way it's kind of like a fully covered door. So you can't really see into the hallway. Uh, but this is going to be the hallway right here. Uh, which I might change the block. Uh, you know, I'm going to change the block. Let's see what the concrete looks like. It might be a little bit too dark. It's actually not that bad. And then for the top, I'm going to put like some lamps up there. Uh, but I need to get the stairs. So for the stairs, what wood should I use? Probably the same that I'm going to use for the floor. So the floor, I'm going to use jungle wood. I think it would be pretty good. And then I'm going to use jungle stairs. So right here is where the stairs are going to start. And they're going to go all the way up here to where the floor is going to be. And this floor is going to be built out of jungle wood. So let me go and put that in there. All right, so I'm going to use concrete for the entire build here. Uh, so right over here, I'm going to start with the lime green. And I'm also going to kind of use the same pattern in the hallway. So I'm going to kind of switch between all the different colors all right so i just got some redstone lamps because i want to put these in first i want to make sure there's enough room yeah you can't walk up that uh, i did it again uh this one needs to move up there so i'm gonna put lights going all the way up the stairs so we're gonna do one there and then one there i think should be good so that's gonna be the stairs and now all I have to do is build up the wall to that. So I'm going to do the top bit of all black. And the rest of it's going to be green. And then down here, I'll just kind of like fill this in with uh, some dark green like that. Now let's look at it from in here. Actually, let me put the redstone so I can activate these lights. So if I just activate this there, there we go. 
So there's the lights. And then if I come down here and change this floor into, I guess, the same block. I'll just do polished andesite here. And I now need to get that door back because I broke it. All right, so here's this. We've got our light here, as you can see. We've got our stairs. We've got our nice little creeper pattern on the side here. And now we're in James's office. So this is James's office right here. I might build this out like maybe two more blocks this way. And then I'll put the wall there. And I might extend the window as well. Just to kind of give a little bit more space. So I'm going to do one more block there. And now we've got a little bit bigger window. And this is going to be the wall. Yeah, so I'm going to do a pattern where I alternate between all the different uh, green and black and uh, the lime green. So I'm going to just kind of randomly put some blocks in here. And hopefully it'll look somewhat like a creeper. One thing I just realized, I think I need some white. Yeah, I completely forgot to get white. Let me get some white concrete. All right, I've got some white concrete now. So I'm going to put a little bit of white in between... Uh, some of the blocks here. And I'm just going to put a bunch of random different colors here. And hopefully it'll look good. Now, I do want to build this up like four blocks. So there's four blocks there. The roof, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do for the roof just yet. But I'll figure that out when I get there. I just want to get the wall done. So I'm just going to quickly go around, put a bunch of different random blocks. I got to remember, put some more white in here. Because uh, I keep forgetting to use white. So I'm just going to put some white down. And I'll see you when I've got the wall done. Alright, so I've just completed the walls as you can see here. Now for the roof, I'm just going to use the same block which is up here. Which is the gray terracotta. That way the roof is the same as inside the factory. But I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to put some skylights in. So I'm going to break some holes and put glass in instead. So that way, instead of using the lamps, I can use the sun. The one thing is when it gets dark out, I'm going to have to have a light. So I'm going to put a light down the middle. Oh, wait, is this the middle? Oh, great. There might not be uh, an exact middle that way. So we're going to have to go this way. So I'm going to put a light down the middle of the office there. And then this will have some windows all right, so I'm just going to break away a few areas here, and that's going to be glass. Now, I want to use some different colored glass as well. So I'm going to use the same colors as the wall. So I'm going to get white. I'm going to get green. I'm going to get lime green. And do we have black? Black is over here. So there is all the different colors. So on this side, I'm going to use some lime green, some green, and white. Over here, I'm going to do black in the middle, lime green, and then maybe some dark green there. So that should allow some sunlight to come in, which is good. And then for the top here, I'm going to put some redstone down. And I want to get a daylight sensor so that when it becomes nighttime, these lights will turn on. Because there's going to be nothing coming in uh, from like the windows. So this is going to be a daylight sensor right there. So as soon as it becomes nighttime, which it never turns nighttime here, that will turn on these lights. Uh, these lights will be constantly on all the time. So there is the walls and the floor for James's office. I'm going to go ahead and put some wood here, just to kind of fill it in. Now let's go inside the office and let's add a desk. Oh, you can actually see the window. You can see into James's office there. Uh, so let's go ahead and head on in. I'm going to head up the stairs here. And this is going to be James's office. So let's go ahead and build him a desk. Now I'm thinking about building the desk out of the warped stairs and the warped uh, slabs. So this is going to be what I'm going to use for James's desk. So if I go ahead and put the stairs like that, build this across here, and then do some stairs there. There's his desk. Actually, let me build it uh, one closer here. So there's James's desk. Now, I want to put a few things on here. Number one, I'm going to get him a lamp. Now, uh, the best lamp that we've got is that, you know, I'm going to use a soul lantern. I was going to use a regular one, but uh, let's use a soul lantern. That way, we've got a little bit of blue. You know, I might put it on the edge there. So there's his light. 
Uh, now the next thing we need to get is we need to get him a computer. So the best way to kind of make a computer is uh, to get some paintings. Uh, let's see, where are the paintings at? Here's the paintings. And then if you get one of the pressure plates, what is the best way? I guess we can get like a blackstone pressure plate. We'll use that. And then I need a block to kind of put this on. But the way this is going to work is there's your keyboard. And then here is going to be the picture. So there's that. I don't think... Oh, wait. It is going to stay. I didn't think that was actually going to stay. Oh, it, it didn't. Okay. So I'm going to need a block behind here uh, to hold the picture on. So let me see if I can find a good block for that. Because uh, this kind of sticks out a little bit. All right, so I messed around with the computer for a little bit. And I found if you put a trap door up, you can actually put the painting on there. So all you have to do is just put the painting on here. And that'll be kind of like uh, your little computer. Let's see, what kind of pictures can we get? I guess that would be a good one. We can leave that. I also gave uh, him a withered rose. So James now has a flower pot with a withered rose on it. And I'm going to put some other paintings up on the wall. I think there's a creeper one. But it's one of like the two block paintings. So I want to see if I can get it right here in the middle. Alright, I found it. Here it is. So here is the creeper painting. So I'm going to put that up on that side. And then over here, oh, I don't want one of those. I want to get one of the four block uh, paintings. So if I go ahead and put some blocks here... Let's see. I'm going to put it right here. So this is where the painting's going to be. So we've got the skull. We've got the spider one. We've got the hand with the fire. Oh, the wither one. That's a cool one. You know, we'll do the wither. So we got two pictures here. We've got one of uh, James or someone. It's like a family photo. We've got his computer. We've got his flower pot. We've got his lamp over here. I think that's pretty good for James's office. Let's go downstairs and invite him in. James, would you like to come look at your brand new office? Oh, here we go. I got him coming up. Perfect. There you are, James. Here is your uh, brand new office. Yeah, take a look around. Look at it. No, don't leave. Don't leave, James. This is where you're going to be staying. We've got a, a nice picture over here. You want to you come see the picture? Yeah, he's in. No, he's not interested. I thought he was interested in the picture for a second. Oh, wait, maybe he is. All right, perfect. He's, he is coming up here. Now, this is your brand new office. You can look outside here. You can see all the machines. You can even see a little bit of the doors over there. But there we go. We're going to leave James up here. And let's head on out. Yeah, so I think that's going to be it for the Minecraft factory. It's finally complete. James has his very own office. And we've got a working trucking system. So next episode, I'm going to start a, a brand new build that has nothing to do with the factory. Uh, but you can always post in the comments any suggestions for builds, and I will pick one of those. But I think that's basically going to be it for today. So I'm going to go down the episode here, so make sure to leave a like and to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.